Well, the Bucks are now 9 and 0 on the season. Bucks win 108 Thunder 94. Like I said, they are now 9 and 0 on the season. Best start in franchise history. Uh, probably won't be beaten again. Uh, let's see here. Um, Giannis didn't play this game. That was the biggest one. That was the biggest thing that came out of this whole entire thing. Giannis did not play this game. He sat down due to uh, knee soreness, as they always say. Probably a form of low management, but he did attend the game. But this game was pretty much led by Brooke Lopez, who had, um, let's see here. 25 points today. Um, I would say this game. This game was pretty much in the bus control. Um, I think the largely was up. It was up by 20. But leading the way was, was Brooke Lopez with 25 points, three rebounds. Uh, Drew Holiday didn't do what he did the previous night. I think some of that was just being tired. But he did have 10, a double double with 10 points and 13 assists. Also six rebounds. Uh, Bobby Porter's start got the start today for uh, Giannis. He had 12 points and 21 rebounds. Also had a double double. And um, somebody else started today that usually didn't start. Oh, the Bucks rookie Marshawn Bochamp came out, uh, got the start today with two points but five rebounds. I think he was in place for Grayson Allen, who was. I think injured in last night's, oh, not since last night's game anymore. Friday's night's game, but he did come off the bench score 19 and 21 minutes. Like I said, this game was pretty much in the bus control. Uh, the Thunder are a young team, so I was expecting, I wouldn't say I expected a little bit more, but I was expecting a little bit more, some of the fight. They did come back and um, put the game by 10 towards the end of the game. Uh, by the time the fourth quarter rolled around. But they was led by, of course, Shea Gillis and Alexander were 18. Josh Giddy with 15. Gerald, uh, I don't know who that is. Let's see. I don't even know anybody on the Thunder's roster. Their roster has changed so much since the uh, departure of Westbrook and Kevin Durant. I don't even know who's even on that roster anymore. Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Yeah. Drafted in 2021. Some of these people, I don't know, but he had 12. But Bucks are now 9-0 in the season. Next game, they do play against, I don't know, it's the Hawks. Let's see here. Yes, they play against the Hawks in Atlanta on Monday. And I think that's part of the whole thing. 30 teams playing on Monday night, so everybody can go vote on Tuesday night. Anyways. Alright. Bucks are up 9-0 for the season. Leading the NBA. But here comes another challenge with the Atlanta Hawks, who just recently beat the New Orleans Pelicans in overtime. But I gotta get credit to the New Orleans Pelicans. They're playing, and eventually they will get it. Boston's the Hawks, but we shall see.